Well, they finally arrived. Now it's opening presents time. Just received my 16 cells from Ninth Sit uh, on Amazon. These are the ones that are listed for uh, 302 amp hours, and they're marked as 310. And we have uh, 12 with the same QR code. And they're, for all intents and purposes, identical, almost immeasurable with uh, internal resistance and voltage using this little meter here. And uh, then we have three that have a different QR Q code. And uh, they're somewhat bulged, not badly, but as you can see, they're, they're not fitting too well. And we have yet a third uh, with a, a third QR code. And that one's more bulged. That one's about uh, there's an eighth inch piece of aluminum angle. And as you can see at the ends, I'm rocking it. It's almost an eighth of an inch, just shy of that. When you push it together, you can see a pretty good gap there between the, the cells. Um, internally, they measure pretty good. They're all uh, voltage, uh, total delta or difference between all cells is uh, uh, nine millivolts. And the uh, ohms are just within spec, point zero uh, two difference in the ohms. And we have, uh, like I say, these here are bulged. And what I wanna do is put them in a constant compression uh, fixture uh, one that does it lets them expand and contract with growth because they do grow and uh, I wanted to put a bus bar on it or if I if I used a bus bar you see that that's going to be pretty close it's already barely going on fairly close but I'm going to be using a jumper like this just going to move this over a little bit there we go the bulge <laughs> and then some double washers and the flange nut and the bevel washer will maintain a constant compression through the ages so I don't have to worry about retorquing it down the line it's going to maintain so those those will flatten out right at full torque so anyway but my concern is um, this last cell is a little bit bulged, so I'm going to contact uh, Ninth Sit on Amazon and ask them what they think. Uh, should I just go ahead and try it? It does have some give. It does flatten out somewhat when I push on it by hand. I can feel it's somewhat uh, springy, and at full compression, it would probably be pretty close to being uh, flat. But uh, it will not be a restrained compression such as bolted. It, the uh, fixture will allow for growth as the charge, uh, as it increases in charge and, and decreases in charge. It will maintain the tension. And then this will reduce any stress on the terminals as batteries tend to expand and contract. After contacting Ninth Sit, um, they uh, inform me that the slight bulging is normal and shouldn't affect uh, overall performance and uh, I see no reason to disagree. Uh, they're now under compression and uh, there's a silicone uh, silicon, um, spacer between each one. It's 45 thousandths thick and a squeeze box right now so they're under, under compression uh, approximately uh, 600 pounds and uh, Curiously, something else just arrived. I got 16 more of these. And they're from C-N-E-E-L, or EEL as they like to call themselves, but you'll find them on Amazon as C-N-E-E-L. And uh, they are rated at 310 amp hour. And... Uh, as you can see, it says more of a eel symbol there on there. Uh, they look like they came out of the same machine. The difference is the terminal itself. The boss, the welded boss is taller 
than the other ones. And the ones from uh, uh, Night Sith, they actually have a stud in them already. I think they're uh, Loctite and not going to test it. <laughs> but I'm going to work with what they gave me. And these, uh, have, they came with uh, little short uh, stubby uh, screws that you can use. But I'm going to be using uh, grub screws or set screws as they call them. And uh, uh, I don't know how well they're welded. I don't want to chance them. So I'm probably going to put the stubs, uh, studs in with Loctite, uh, blue Loctite, run them down till they touch and then back them up a little bit because I don't want them to pry or jack that weldment off because as you can see, it looks like they're electron beam welded on there or some sort of method. It's hard to see. You can see there's a little divot where the weld ended and, and uh, stopped. I guess that's where it shows you kind of how much penetration that they had. But I mean, as far as the case, even if you look at the little plus symbol, you can see where the um, shrink wrap overlapped in the plus column. Go over here, and you're going to see the same thing on that. Plastic terminal, plastic terminal, plastic terminal. Virtually identical, just a different method of welding that boss on. Now I'm figuring or theorizing that the reason why they're going up and making a taller boss on these uh, new battery types is they're squeaking for internal space to keep the same configurations on these batteries uh, internally. So they're going taller on the inside. So there's no room for the screws to go beyond the top deck as before with the 280 amp hour and, and less size batteries. So I'm not theorizing that's the reason why they're going up. They're squeaking for the room. They're also packing these things. As you can see, there's a slight bulge on these things. And a night sit told me that it would be normal and it shouldn't affect anything. I contacted Eel and they told me that it would be normal and a highly recommended compression. Uh, 300 uh, kilograms, I believe it was what they said, which equals to about 660 PSI. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, pounds overall, which works out to be about 12 PSI over that area, that one face there. So you're looking at about 12 PSI over that. And uh, they claim that that should get you up to at least 4,000 cycles. Uh, at, I believe it was 80% depth of uh, charge. So uh, we'll see. We'll run, run the tests on these things and see how it comes out. Uh, as far as the internal resistance on these... Uh, I measured them at uh, uh, 22, uh, 0.22 ohm consistently. All uh, 16 cells of these were very, very close. Voltage was within a, a few millivolts of each other. Uh, probably the closest match I've ever seen for 16 cells showing up. Uh, they do have a little bit of a bulge, but that bulge is underneath of an inch. It's an eighth inch angle here. As you can see, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. So they're all consistent in that re regard. Um, these had some that were completely flat um, and uh, some actually concave. Uh, the impedance was a little different on the ninth sit. Uh, these were, the ninth sit were more expensive and these were less expensive. Now, as far as shipping, the ninth sit, they shipped immediately as well as eel. They also shipped immediately. The problem was, as in both cases, was FedEx. Um, these took a tour around LA for three days. These got lost around Sacramento <laughs> for about a half a week, and they were almost written off as lost. Uh, two of the boxes showed up uh, um, within a, a couple days of being on time, and then two more showed up a week later uh, for the complete order. So I was about ready to write off the last two boxes for the last eight parts. Um, shipping was a little different too. Um, these came two to a box and the two boxes were strapped together for a total of four in each cube. And these came four to a box from the eel battery. Um, 
in both cases. Um, they all arrived intact, no damage. Uh, the boxes, uh, this one had a slight bump on the side, but didn't come close to uh, impacting any of the batteries. Uh, these, uh, the two that are shipped uh, two to a box, they're shipped differently I've ever seen. They're shipped on their side, on the flat, a wide side down. And um, that was kind of different. I, I wouldn't like to run batteries like that. They say you can, you just can't run it on the, the narrow edge down. Um, but uh, as far as probably shipping safety, a larger area probably affords a better impact resistance. I don't know in case something gets dropped. Uh, but they all seem to have survived their journeys around halfway around the world. These... Uh, uh, had a, a bit of a detour, long history I'm not going to go into, but uh, uh, both cases was a FedEx fiasco. <laughs> a little more drama than necessary. So anyway, we'll uh, run some tests on these. Uh, I got to build a couple more uh, fixture boxes and it should be a good deal.